Now, Mayan says that he did everything to protect his wife from COVID, but the virus put her in the hospital. And yeah, Matt Waite's wife is immune compromised, and he says her hospital stay scared them to death. KATV News Watch 7's Delon Dillard's here with her battle and the family's message to others. Delon? And Waite's story echoes the constant plea we hear from doctors time in and time out. Hospitals are full, beds and staffing are limited, and now Waite is urging everyone to take the virus serious. I did not get a lot of sleep that night. Um, I'm just, it was the most helpless feeling I've ever had in my life. Matt Waite recalls the night coronavirus sent his wife Nancy to Bryan Medical Center's ICU. She said she heard the person in the next room uh, code out. I, all of the, you know, all of a sudden people running in there and there's all kinds of alarms going off and they can hear, you know, the doctors shouting at each other and, and calling commands. The UNL professor says he experienced symptoms two weeks ago. Wade locked himself in the basement away from his immune compromised wife. Both of them tested negative initially, but his wife later tested positive at the hospital. We've tried to be as extremely careful as we could. Um, we go nowhere without masks, you know, contactless everything. We've not been in a, in a restaurant or anywhere. Um, you know, a, a rare trip to a store once in a while. His wife experienced the chaos firsthand while in the ICU. Wade says nurses were forced to care for the most critical patients. It pretty much put her in a room and shut the door. And they told her when she got there that, you know, you're not bad, so don't expect anybody to come by here. Um, you just rest and, and you're going to have to be self-sufficient. So Wade's plea to the public is simple. Stay home. At, th at this point, you know, masks and, and, and washing hands and social distancing. Yeah, 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 sure. Stay home. Don't have a big Thanksgiving meal. Don't. So the good news here, Wake tells me he has recovered from the virus. As for his wife, she spent one night in the hospital before getting discharged. She is now also at home and improving. <laughs>